we made some significant changes to the way Pixel Your Site tracks important actions with automatic events. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site, and if you use Pixel Your Site, please watch this video, it's important. Until recently, we used a single event called the signal event to track all the key actions. I'm not referring to e-commerce specific events like add to cart purchase and so on. No, no, I'm referring to uh, something else like clicks on various links, page scroll, time on page, video views, embedded video views, and so on. And this signal event had a large number of parameters that were able to identify the specific action. So using the signal event and some parameters, you were able to tell this was uh, this event was fired for uh, a video or for a, a form submit and so on. Okay, things were working decently for Facebook where or Meta, where it was possible to create custom audiences or custom conversions using this signal event. Uh, they were working so-so for Google Analytics uh, Universal, the old properties, but they were not working at all um, for Pinterest. They were not working at all for uh, TikTok because TikTok doesn't support custom events. They only want the, the, the standard set of events that they have. So Signal was not sent to TikTok uh, and it was quite problematic to use the event on uh, Google Analytics 4 GA4 uh, for audiences or conversions because you cannot use custom parameters, events and custom parameters to define a conversion or to define um, an audience on GA4. So for Facebook, this signal event was good. For the other tags, not so good. That's why I decided to replace this signal event with individual events tracking each important action. We will have, we now have an event tracking internal links, another event tracking in external links, another event tracking forms, and so on. When possible, we use uh, the standard specific event for each tag, uh, like for TikTok. If not possible, we use a custom event name. And let's let's start by showing you what I mean because uh, this should not be very complicated. This right here is the old signal event. Right now, you still have it. I suggest, actually urge you to turn it off and to turn on the new set of events these events right here. So off, on, save. If you have custom audiences or custom conversions based on the signal event, replace them with new ones using the new dedicated events. Where are they? Right here. So this is very important. Replace audiences and conversions using the signal event with new custom audiences and custom conversions using the new events. Uh, in a few weeks, we will actually remove the signal event and uh, have the new global events on by default. So it's best to just start with the, the transition right now and move on from the signal event audiences and conversions to the new ones based on the new events. And uh, as you can see, the, the events names are pretty easy to understand. You can click here and you will uh, see the actual event name. For example, this is called internal click. For TikTok, it has the specific um, TikTok name. I think it's button click or click button, something like that. Uh, and when possible, we send these parameters text in this example, the text of the link and text target URL, basically the URL opened by the link. Uh, we have outbound links, again, text and target URL. We have embedded videos and we track uh, YouTube and Vimeo, Vimeo, I think it's pronounced. 
the event is called watch video we have uh, parameters telling you the progress basically play 10 percent 50 percent 90 percent and 100 percent of the video uh, video type video title video id we track clicks on phone numbers with this custom event tell click emails if if you have an email on your website and it, someone clicks on it we will fire this email click event forms if a uh, form button is clicked um, user sign up if someone creates a user account on your wordpress website we fire this event user login if they log in we fire this event uh, okay downloads and you can define which files uh, represent a download so should be tracked as a download um, we have parameters identifying the download we track comments again we fire this event comment when uh, someone adds a comment on your website adsense this is quite interesting because if you have adsense on your website we fire an event every time an ad is clicked and you can send this event to facebook google google ads bing and pinterest i'm gonna send it to tiktok because because again it's a custom event and tiktok doesn't support them page scroll and you can define define the, the percent for the scroll event to fire time on page and you can say how many seconds we should wait before firing this event and searches so these are the events that we now fire automatically in order to track important actions on any website uh, as you can see it's pretty intuitive and uh, the nice thing is that you can turn them off completely you don't need them or you can turn each individual event completely or you can enable or disable this particular event for a tag so so let's say you don't want to send internal clicks internal clicks to facebook okay turn it off and save and that's it this was a it's kind of major update especially if you use the signal event to have custom audiences and custom conversions again turn the signal event off move all your uh, audiences and conversion based on the single event signal event uh, and start using our new dedicated events uh, I think it's a good and it's an improvement because you will able to use these events not just for Facebook. Uh, you will you will be able to see more info on Google Analytics 4 because Google Analytics 4 um, reports custom events. So you will be able to see how many uh, clicks you had in a particular day, how many embedded video videos were watched in a particular day, uh, how many forms were submitted searches um, if you have downloads how many downloads and so on all the things that we track and you can also uh, transform this kind of custom events into a conversion on google analytics 4 so that's possible too you can um, create custom audiences based on these uh, events that we now fire automatically uh, Chances are that you, if you do something very specific, you still need to fire your own events and the plugin helps you do this. We have a, an events tab. Let me show you. It's not the right place, but why not? This page right here, where you can set up your own events and to track a very, very specific action. But uh, these new global events will be very helpful. Uh, this is it. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Slide like share subscribe this video and uh, thank you very much